Hello everyone, we're going to go into yet another thing that many people ask me about, my personal prefix naming system. I've been using this for the last two years of the NES Classic as well as the SNES Classic, and I've been doing this system for a good 30 years in emulation otherwise, just to keep everything organized. And uh, my prefix system is basically the system type, along with a semicolon and a space. And I have these highly organized, so if I add them to folders, they're very, very easy to separate. An example here is my Sega CD, but if I go through the list, I have several dozen systems such as Sega Master System, Super Nintendo, NES, Mega Drive, Jaguar, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, CPC Amstrad, Arcade, even Atari 2600 games. I'm going to show you how to properly implement this change into your own setup so you can have better organization and more intuitive nature when you do folders. So I'm going to exit this Hashi2 version here. And I'm going to open up a fresh Hashi2 with no games in it just for testing purposes and to better give an example of how this process works. It doesn't really matter which Hashi2 version you use. I'm going to open it up right now. The first thing to note here is if you have an SNES Classic, the games are going to go into your games underscore SNES folder. If you have an NES Classic, they'll go into your games folder. So just keep that in mind. First thing I'm going to do once I have this open is I'm going to make sure the console type is properly set to SNES. Then I'm going to have the compress option disabled for now. And I'm simply just going to add a game. And for my test setup, the way I did it is I have all my artwork in one folder, all my games in another folder. I took all of the zip files and I extracted them all to the test folder. I took all of my artwork and I extracted all the artwork to the test folder. So I have all the extracted games as well as the artwork identically named because if you add the game along with identical artwork, it'll auto add the artwork when you add the game. Just watch this in action here. I'm gonna add the SFC file for Three Ninjas Kickback. It's gonna draw up the identical artwork here. Now I'm gonna do the old fashioned way where I do my prefix, SNES semicolon space then I'm going to exit hashi2 so it properly saves the desktop file then when I reopen it it'll properly be set but I'm going to show you something very interesting here I'm going to delete this game and I'm going to try this a different way I'm going to try to add this game here and I'm simply going to rename this as a test here I'm going to add SNES and I cannot use a semicolon on Windows. You have to do this in an additional step afterwards. Or you can just use the hyphen. So SNES space hyphen space three ninjas kick back. I'm adding that. I clearly have the SNES in the title. And I'm going to add the game. And as we all know by now, if you add this game in NES Classic, it's going to just stick to the SFC format. But since the SNES Classic uses a special canoe emulator it'll convert it to a format that is used with that game which is an sfrom file you'll see this in a moment here but i'm going to add this prefix of snes here and look what happened it ignored the prefix completely there's a reason for this if i'm using a debug version which i really love to see data and such notice it loads an snes xml file and an nes xml file so there's actually a database, and if you have games that are on that database, it'll rename them to the names of the database. So to bypass this, I'm going to delete this one right here, which only deletes from Hashi2, not the original ROM directory. I'm going to exit Hashi2. I created a backup folder, which I do in all my Hashi versions, where I keep files that I need backed up. I'm going to go into this data folder. And I'm going to grab the NES and SNES XML files, which are the databases to rename the files. Put them in the backup folder. They are no longer present in here, so they cannot be accessed and cannot rename my games. I'm going to reopen Hashi2. And I'm going to add that same exact game that I just added. With the prefix. And it has the prefix intact. And notice here where it says bin forward slash clover canoe. That's the command line to run the canoe with the default emulator. But I'm going to show you how to bypass that command line to run it with the SNES 9X cords as well. That'll be another part 
of the video. It'll either be in this video or the next video, depending on the time frame it takes me to finish this video, of course. But I'm going to delete this for now. And I'm going to take that file here, rename it back to normal, and you'll see why in a moment here. I'm going to use this really nifty tool that's in my core set, Advanced Renamer. I'm going to click Add Method. I'm going to click Add. And it's going to be SNES space hyphen, and you have to have one space after that. Then I'm going to choose the directory where my test folder is. I'm going to click Add Selected. And it's going to add all the files in there. And I'm going to start batch with that SNES space hyphen space, which will add to the beginning as the prefix here for all the artwork and all the games. Let's rename it all of them. Now I'll go into the folder to ensure that they all got renamed. I'll just uh, open up Hashi and try adding them here. They all have the prefix now. Real nice. And I'm going to add a select number of these here. I'm not going to add all of these right now. I'm just going to add these for now. So it's adding all of them. And of course you'll get the little warning messages about games that are not supported. I'm just going to click yes for all because I'm going to end up changing these all to uh, SNES 9X anyway. So games that do not work, you have two choices. You could run them through 9X or you could use a Dark Akuma's Awesome s from tool which is linked to in my course set as well. So I have all of these right here. Real nice and nifty here. And uh, I'm going to exit real quick to make sure everything's properly saved. And I'm going to reopen. So I have all those added here. Now say for instance I would like to change this hyphen into a uh, semicolon instead. I could use another tool in my core set, which is this find and replace. And I just have to go to the directory they're in, which I already have set right there. But I'll double check to make sure. I'm going to the exact same directory, the games SNES folder, which I told you about a couple minutes ago. Now I have it where it's going to do subdirectories, include subdirectories. And I'm going to look at what I'd like to change here. This SNES. One thing to know is Advanced Renamer does hard file names like binary types, the actual ROMs and such. The find and replace will do the desktop files. So I'm going to copy and paste this SNES space hyphen space into here. I'm going to find all examples of it. Actually, I can't copy it. I'm going to have to just type it in manually. I forgot I cannot copy that in. So I'm going to type that in. SNES space hyphen and space. Make sure you have that space there. And I'm going to replace this with SNES semicolon space. Then I'm going to click replace. And it's replacing them right now. Here we go. And then I'm going to exit Hashi and reopen it. Now they're all with semicolons in the artwork. Now additionally, say I would like to run these with uh, SNES 9X instead of Clover. So for example, say uh, ActRaiser here. I could just simply do this. Replace that Clover Canoe SV, SHVC, that entire thing with bin forward slash SNES. And that's if I have one single SNES 9X core installed. And I'll show you this real fast here. Going into my core set, I have four SNES 9X cores. You can install any of these just one at a time and do bin 
forward slash SNES. But if you'd like to run more than them in multiples, you're going to have to do this a different way. Say I have two different cores installed. I'm going to go into this little thing I added here. And you can also look at the readmes in Hashi2 themselves. I'll actually do this right now. I'll make it real easy. I'm just going to copy these uh, cores right into the Hashi user mods folder right here. I already have them there, never mind. <laughs> but I'm going to do this. This is my slightly outdated set here. Make sure they're the more applicable current ones. Make sure them are the only ones that show up for now, actually. Okay, so I have just these four SNES cords here. And I'm going to go to modules, install extra modules. If you see the command lines here, I can do bin forward slash SNES for any of them if I have them installed one at a time. But if I decide to install one or more of these, it would be preferable to point to the one you want to run them with. So for instance, I want to run an uh, FX game like Star Fox with SNES 2010. I would use bin forward slash SNES 10. And then if I want to run an MSU1 game, I would do the bin forward slash SNES 16 or 9x. So you want to make sure you're doing the appropriate thing there. And of course in my course set update, I did something to make things a lot easier. I did a little cheat sheet in the command folder. And this has all the command lines for all of the cores in my set. So that would make things real easy to follow. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... All these games, and I'm going to make them... These are all running with Canoe right now. If you just boot up the system, they're going to attempt to run with Canoe. But say I want to run these all with 9x and only have one core installed. I'm simply going to replace this entire line of script here. Just like so. The Clover, after the forward slash. Well, I'm going to have to actually type it in to find a replace. I, I have to remember that here. This is where things get just a little tricky. You just have to make sure you type it out properly. So I'm going to do clover hyphen canoe hyphen s v s h v c hyphen w r space hyphen rom. Just make sure you type it in right. So it's clover hyphen canoe space hyphen well you'll see let's test it out to make sure i have it correctly here i might have to actually copy that to a little text sheet so i know i'm typing it out right but i'm going to let that replace with snes by itself let's see if i did this correctly now i said to see if i did the proper line here so you're seeing my little fail here because I'm the screen's a little bit small, so I'm having a little bit of difficulty reading it there. So I'll reopen that hashy version here. And apparently I didn't do it correctly here, so I'm gonna take this script here. And I'm just gonna open up a text file to see exactly what I'm supposed to be typing out here. And I never edit my videos. I like to leave my fills in. I've always run stuff with SNES 9X, so... Okay, I can see clearly what I need to type now, because I have it on a text file. So I'm going to apply this to this find and rename here. I can see where I clearly screwed up there. So clover hyphen canoe hyphen shvc hyphen wr space hyphen rom so welcome to my fail and now we're going to see the end result of me properly fixing it can't be perfect every time replace it replaced all of them i'm going to exit hashi2 reopen it now they're all set to run with one snes core so if i want to change them i can just manually change them now i can make this run with 
16. I can make this one run with 05. And I can have all the, you know, I can do whichever way I want to. But I'm going to exit this. And then I'm going to actually go into the game's SNS folder. I'm going to cut all these out of here for now. Put them into the games folder, which is empty. I'm just using this as a backup place right now. I'm going to reopen Hashi. Now I can add another set of games. So I could keep stacking games. I could do a core, you know, a set of games, and then I could add another set. 